Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's time for week 17 over on the Mission Inspiration Facebook group. And the prompt for this week is kindness. Something we could all do with a little more of. So let me turn over to my overhead camera and I'll show you the prompt and what I'm going to do for this week's Art Journal page. Okay, so this is the prompt for week number 17, kindness. It reads, embrace the gentle power of compassion. Like a beacon in the darkness, let kindness illuminate your path. Navigate with empathy, for in the warmth of caring gestures, find healing and connection. Embrace the ripple effect, where every act of kindness transforms hearts and brightens the world. Well, that's a sentiment we can all get behind, I think. So I've got my sheet ready or my page ready to go. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to, yes, I've already used, I've reused the back of a, a print that I did earlier rather than waste paper. <laughs> reuse recycle we love it you'll see that character again in a minute <laughs> because i'm using him in the page so let's just stick that down onto the back so we don't lose it and i'm going to be creating my page on this so i've got some white cardstock this is mixed media cardstock i've cut it down so that there's a bit of a border all the way around so that's what I'm going to be working on as my base. And then we're going to build our collage, mixed media collage, with a little bit of stenciling and a little bit of paint onto that. So I'll go and grab the rest of my stuff and I'll be right back. OK, so my base layer for this page is this beautiful sheet of kind of vintage floral paper. This is from... Uh, a new upcoming set of papers called Chic Fleur, which you will see um, appear in the next couple of weeks or so. So I just need to grab a pencil. There we go. So I'm going to just cut this down just so that it fits a bit better on the page. I'll just use my trimmer. I'm not going to throw that piece away because I can use that on another project later. More reuse and recycle. Okie doke. So we've got that. So I'm going to give that a bit of a distress. Just get rid of those white raw edges. In fact, let's just move that out of the way and give it a proper going over. Let's just give it a proper going over. Let's really grunge it up a bit. Let's distress it to within an inch of its life. Without creasing the paper, of course. I mean, it already looks a bit distressed anyway, so Adding a little bit more won't do any harm, will it? There we go. Let's just stick that out of the way. Get a wet wipe just to clean up that ink. Because otherwise it's just going to get on everything. Dirty, dirty birdie. Right, let's get that dried off. And then we can stick that down onto there as our base layer. I'm not too bothered about it curling up at the edges, so I'm not taking the glue right to the edge. I like it when you can see the layers, so if they curl up a little bit, I 
that's okay. Don't mind that at all. So hopefully this won't grab too quickly. I'm hoping that I've cut the card stock correctly. That'll do. That will do nicely. Okay, so what I want to do for that is just take some white gesso because I just want to knock the background down a little bit because it is quite bright, but not a huge amount. Just a little. So I just want to kind of just knock it back just to kind of fade it a little. I kind of give it a, a whitewashed effect. It's very subtle. And I'm only doing it kind of like over the flower. <clears throat> That'll do. Give it a clear up. Okay, while that's drying, I'll just pop that to one side. I can bring in my characters. So, this is a character, it's a digi stamp called Daisy Whimsy, which is on the website if you're interested. You can resize it, it is quite a large one. So, I've just brought it down so that it's more in keeping with the size of the art journal page that I'm going to be using it on. So, what I've done is I've overlaid it onto some like vintage paper, um, but I've also done it again on a piece of kind of like yellowy um, paper as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of paper piecing. So I'm going to cut out the character and then I'm going to cut the face and the hand and maybe the stripes um, on the top of his hat. And then I'm going to stick them together. I might even do the daisy. Who knows? Right, so first things first, I need to get some scissors and start cutting out um, this character here so back in a moment because of course I left my scissors downstairs so I've just had to quickly run down for them so I'm going to just really really carefully try and cut as close to the black line as I can so just take a little bit of extra care And then just gently go around. Now I could use a cutting mat and a scalpel or a craft knife. I'm just feeling a bit more in control today. I haven't had that much coffee. I've been trying to cut down my coffee intake. So instead of drinking coffee, I've been having lemon and ginger tea, which is quite nice. Ever since I got back from our honeymoon in London, um, I've been drinking more kind of herbal teas. Can't say it's helped that much with my sleep because I've definitely got an overactive mind. <laughs> constantly, constantly thinking and planning and trying to work out what I'm going to be doing for filming, but also for designing new products, not just for me but for my clients day job stuff too close to the edge there a little bit okay so I think what I'll do I've nearly finished this now but 
Um, <clears throat> I'll probably just jump to the end uh, and I'll also cut out those bits from that bit, from that as well. And then I'll probably join with you again in a minute or two. Okay, so that's all the bits cut out. So I'll just pop those in the bin. What I need now is um, some glue in a fine point applicator, I think. So let me just see if I can go and find one and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've put some PVA glue in this um, fine point applicator. So I've had it upside down for a minute or two, just so that the glue, there we go, starts coming out of there. I wish I knew what I'd done with my tweezers. It's a wee bit fiddly, but worth it in the long run. He says, famous last words, that. Let me just see if I can use the pin just to manoeuvre it into place. There we go. And then grab that one. And manoeuvre that one into place. This is why I wanted to leave the black line. It just helps when you're positioning your pieces. Cool. Right, now let's do the back of the daisy. Like it, and then we can just go ahead with the face. Mm. 
there we go so we just now need just to leave that to dry for a minute or two before we do anything else with it so we can now come back in with our background and we can see where we can add a little bit of stencil in in that background there so i've got my uh, grungy bits stencil so i'm going to grab my sponge daubers that one there and hopefully this old paper one is still yeah it's still got some life in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just bring some of that in actually should we use that little like diamond pattern there Ooh. okay definitely is a bit darker than anticipated but that's okay i don't mind that so just over where we um added that gesso as well Excellent. All right, so now with a different colour, I want to bring in a little bit of pink because there's a little bit of pink there. So I've got some tattered rose. And then we've got some little hearts that I want to introduce into that as well they're really cute i like those some down there Actually, let me turn that sheet round because it might be easier for me to position it and hold it. Yeah. And then just a few kind of overlapping in that bottom section there. like it I like it a lot okay so we'll put those away and then of course i want to add a few sprinkle splatters so let's just grab a little paintbrush just a dab of white and then just just to break it up a little bit. All right, so now we just need to either let that dry au naturel, or I could bring the heat gun in and just give it a quick blast with a heat gun. But I think I'm gonna just let it dry naturally um, because it's gonna give me a chance then to go away, have a cup of coffee, I'll make a cup of coffee and then come right back again. So. Back in a moment. Just realised I forgot to press record then. <laughs> I've been drinking my coffee. So what I've done is I've just put a little bit of the brushed corduroy distressing onto my craft mat there. And I've just activated it with a little bit of water. And I've just started to add a little bit of shading using that ink just to kind of darken up. Add a little bit of kind of like 3D shade in just underneath the areas where I think it just needs a little bit. Be 
because I've watered the inks down a little bit and they are obviously distress inks it means you can maneuver them a little bit and then just with a little bit of water you can just push them around just a little bit And then on the face, just to add a little bit of three D. just as it kind of settles in. Just a little bit of shadow. Don't need a huge amount because obviously it will dry lighter anyway okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going to flip that over and add i should have had that glue upside down shouldn't i oh. mind you it's big enough to use the big applicator i don't really need the small one now There we go. Flip that over and then we can position it on the page. <laughs> and then using some of that distressing, we can just ground our character on the page. So a bit more water. And of course you could always use your, if you've got some Stabilo oil pens, you could use that, or pencils I should say, you could add your grounding with that as we do, as we have done before. Lots of different methods for achieving the same kind of effect like it like it a lot right so we need our little quote so because we're talking about kindness today I really like the quote about sprinkling kindness around like confetti so I think we're going to add that to the journal page today But because we've kind of got a fairly muted kind of distressed feel to the page, I'm going to use that old paper again. I'm just going to put a little bit on the worktop. Just activate it with a bit of water to clean my brush. And then I'm just going to go over just to get rid of that stark white. All right, 
So with any luck, when that dries, it will dry a little bit lighter. And then we can add a little bit of that brown around it and we can add it to the page. So give it a second or two, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so while that's drying, I've just brought in one of my little um, paint pens. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of white just onto that daisy. Just to line it up a little bit. I'm trying very hard just to stay between the lines. Go. So let's just lighten that up a little bit and then I can go and grab some coloured pencils if I can remember where I've hidden all mine. <clears throat> and I should have maybe gone through this earlier <clears throat> to find a yellow. There we go. No, that's not a yellow. <laughs> Because it's right at the very bottom. Blimey. <clears throat> is there a pencil sharpener in there? Yes, there is. I usually have a pencil sharpener in with my pencils. Each of the different types of pencil that I've got, I usually have one in with them just because usually you can never find one when, when you need one and seeing as they're very very inexpensive <laughs> it's easier right so let's add a little bit of color just to his eyes seeing as we've got he's wearing a kind of green onesie Let's give him some green eyes and then maybe just a touch of colour. Don't want him to look like he's wearing lipstick or she's wearing lipstick because non-gender specific they Just a little bit of colour, just to liven it up. And then if you really wanted to, I've got a brown here. Again, you can just come in just gonna reinforce. different techniques it's a good match actually mustard for that um, brush corduroy when it's been um, watered down
maybe just a little bit of shading on the hand. There we go. I'm not going to overthink it, and I'm certainly not going to um, go too mad with that. Put those away. That should be dry enough now that we can ink the edge. Oh no, it's still very wet. Still a bit. I might just need to give that a blast with my heat gun. Yeah, I think we'll pop it there, down at the bottom. Why not? Or should I cut it in two and step it? Because we still can. Last minute changes. I think it's telling me, as I'm looking at the page, that there should be some darker sprinkles on there as well. So I think we'll just grab that black gesso. We're not going to need a huge amount. says Exactly what it needed. Right, I'll have a quick tidy up and then I'll be right back. Messy. All right, that's all dry. So I just want to reinforce that shadow down at the bottom. So I am coming in with my Stabilo all pencil in black. And I'm just going to add just a little bit there. I've already pre-wet the brush. It will soak into the paper. So, but I will be able to manoeuvre it just enough to create that, that bit of um, grounding. That's the word I'm looking for, do you know? losing the worms today. There we go. Just darkens it a little bit. Brown was okay, but I don't think it was dark enough. Give 
a little bit more maybe. There we go. Like that. And then maybe just... Actually, no, I'm not going to use the top. I'm not going to do the top. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Know when to, to put your brush down and step away. Step away from the art journal page. That's it. Lovely stuff. Right, so, pen. Have I taken them all and put them all away? Terrible for doing that. I think I have. So, what I want to do now is just sign it. And then put today's date. 27th today. It's near enough, even if it isn't. <laughs> okay, and then we can bring the page back in find what I've done with it. There we go. Flip that over. Get the glue. We're nearly at the end of the first signature in this journal now. I know it'll probably be time next week to add our second signature which will be fun okay there we go so we just need to stick that down hold it down until it grabs so there we go so that is my art journal page for this week's prompt for kindness. I hope you've enjoyed watching me put this art journal page together. If you have, I'd really appreciate it if you just take some time to hit that thumbs up because it really does help me and the channel. Also, don't forget you can share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. And don't forget if you want to join us over in our Mission Inspiration Facebook group for the weekly art challenges this year, then that's the URL on the screen there, but there will be a clickable link below the video. If you're interested in either the Digi Stamp for the Daisy Whimsy or the Grungy Bits stencil, I'll also put a link to those below the video too, um, to my web shop. So that's all from me for now. I'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible and don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website there's a link in the description area below thank you